In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Today we remember St. Terribius of Mugrovijo, a bishop, began as a, a lay person, presided over uh, one of the inquisitions in Granada, and it was one of the more, more just judges of the inquisition. Um, became a bishop, uh, served in Lima, and also presided over uh, the, Va the Third Vatican Council of Lima, um, established uh, the first seminary in the New World. So we remember him today. As we prepare for this most holy and sacred of all celebrations, we pause calling to mind our sins. <clears throat> and so we pray, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Kyrie eleison. Christ eleison. Kyrie eleison. Let us pray. O God, who gave increase to your church through the apostolic labors and zeal for truth of the Bishop St. Terribius, grant that the people consecrated to you may always receive new growth in faith and holiness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Numbers. From Mount Hor, the children of Israel set out on the Red Sea Road to bypass the land of Edom. But with their patience worn out by the journey, the people complained against God and Moses. Why have you brought us up from Egypt to die in this desert where there is no food or water? We are disgusted with this wretched food. In punishment, the Lord sent among the people Seraph serpents, which bit the people, so that many of them died. Then the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned in complaining against the Lord and you. Pray the Lord to take the serpents away from us. So Moses prayed for the people, and the Lord said to Moses, Make a seraph and mount it on a pole, and whoever looks at it after being bitten will live. Moses accordingly made a bronze serpent and mounted it on a pole. And whenever anyone who had been bitten by a serpent looked at the bronze serpent, he lived. The word of the Lord. Thank God. The response is from Psalm 102. O Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. O Lord, Lord hear my prayer. prayer and let my cry come to you. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come to you. Hide not your face from me in the day of my distress. Incline your ear to me in the day when I call. Answer me speedily. O Lord, Lord hear, hear my, my prayer, prayer, and let, let my, my cry, cry come, come to you. you. The nations shall revere your name, O Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory. When the Lord has rebuilt Zion and appeared in his glory, when he has regarded the prayer of the destitute and not despised their prayer, O Lord, o Lord hear my hear prayer, prayer and let, let my, my cry, cry come, come to you. you. Let this be written for the generation to come 
and let his future creatures praise the Lord. The Lord looked down from his holy height. From heaven he beheld the earth to hear the groanings of the prisoners, to release those doomed to die. O Lord, o Lord hear, my hear my prayer, prayer and, and let, let my cry come, come to you. you. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The seed is the word of God, Christ is our sower. All who come to him will live forever. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Pharisees, I am going away and you will look for me, but you will die in your sin. Where I am going, you cannot come. So the Jews said, he is not going to kill himself, is he? Because he said, where I am going, you cannot come. He said to them, you belong to what is below. I belong to what is above. You belong to this world, but I do not belong to this world. That is why I told you that you will die in your sins. For if you do not believe that I am, you will die in your sins. So they said to him, who are you? Jesus said to them, what I told you from the beginning. I have much to say about you in condemnation, but the one who sent me is true. And when I heard from him, I tell the world. They did not realize that he was speaking to them of the Father. So Jesus said to them, when you lift up the Son of Man, then you will realize that I am, and that I do nothing on my own. But I say only what the Father taught me. The one who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone, because I always do what is pleasing to him because he spoke this way many came to believe in him the gospel of the Lord praise to you Lord Jesus Christ Today's readings are the same readings that we hear on the exaltation of the Holy Cross. And it's interesting, um, you know, the bishops of the Holy Catholic Church, their crozier is in the shape of a, a, a crooked staff, as a shepherd's staff. What would be called bishops, so they don't call them bishops, um, in the eparchies of the Orthodox and the Byzantine Church, what they carry as what we would call a crozier is a stick that has two seraphs or two snakes at the top. Because as Moses told the people of Israel as they began to complain about all the snakes that were biting him, and the snakes came because they were complaining about everything, and so all this, they had this scourge of snakes come upon them, and so our Lord told Moses to erect a staff with two intertwining seraphs. You'll also know that uh, most of our healing community as doctors and so forth often have that as part of their insignia because it's about the medical profession is very much about healing. But for us today in this, this juxtaposition about what we see as the instrument of our healing, the ultimate healing of our sins and this healing from, from death, full death, is that of which is the cross. And so we understand that. And so 
what we embrace has been given to us by Christ our Lord, who has been sent by the Father. And you'll understand, you'll listen in John's gospel, and John is, is, is a wondrous gospel, but several times during the course of this gospel, this passage, he refers to, he uses the words, I am. He was kind of hitting them over the heads with it. And yet, even at that, many of them went away angry, but the, many of the people that came, that were part of this gathering, that were not part of the system that was corrupt, came to believe in him because of what he was saying. They caught it. In order to catch it, but, they, but the way he spoke was because he, as we, we've heard several times throughout sacred scripture, he has an authority unlike any other. Not only because he is the word, and he is the word made flesh, and he knows the word inside out, but also that he is the ultimate authority because he knows it better than anybody else, so he doesn't have to reference any other rabbi. And so he speaks with an authority that is beyond time, and it captivates the people. It touches not only their ears, but their hearts, and they receive that good news. So today, you and I once again receive that good news again. And for all of us, and especially for our country and, our, and what is going on in our country and in the world, when we look upon the cross, the cross here in the church, the cross that is in um, the, 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 where people go to, hear, to, have, to have their confessions heard, the crosses we have at home, ask God not only to heal us, but to heal our country and our world because he is the one that is the healer of all things. And the Lord, the, the, our Father, our Heavenly Father, sent him into the world because that is the kind of love he has for us. Because he wants you and I, with a great passion, to be with us forever with him in heaven. May we use that same love and passion that he may not only heal us, but heal our country and our world so that we may turn back to God and once again proclaim him as the king, not only of this planet, but of all the universe, our king, who will reign forever and ever. Trusting that we belong to our all-loving Father, let us bring our prayers before him. For all who serve in the church, may the grace of God further strengthen them in their mission, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our leaders and all who hold power in this world, may God grant them the ability for just and prudent decision-making, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May each and every one of us here at St. John the Baptist look upon the cross and pray for healing for ourselves, for our country and the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for the sick, injured, and dying, and for those who care for them. May Christ, the divine physician, bring healing and comfort, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for our faith community. May the Lord sow seeds that bear much fruit in building up the kingdom of God here on earth. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for those of all the faithful departed. On this day, we especially remember Kathy Merlins, for whom this Mass is offered. May she and all those who have gone before us, marked with the sign of faith, be rewarded with eternal peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for all those petitions offered before the Blessed Sacrament and adoration and for our own private petitions we bring to our Lord at this time. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, hear and answer the prayers we offer to you through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for the goodness we have received this gift of bread we offer you for the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this gift of wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look with favor, O Lord, we pray, and the offerings we set upon this sacred altar on the feast day of blessed Therubius, that bestowing on us your pardon, our obl oblations, may give honor to your name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. <clears throat> Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty, since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed in the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power, God of might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and profound of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, he broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life 
and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Paul our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Terminus on this his feast day, our beloved patrons, St. John the Baptist, St. Elizabeth and Seton, and Blessed Stanley Rother, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form of divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called at the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
we're back for the first time. Um, the only uh, place to receive communion on the tongue will be over here. Thank you.
Removed by the, renewed by the sacred mysteries, we humbly pray, O Lord, that following the example of blessed Therebius, we may strive to profess what he believed and to practice what he taught through Christ our Lord. Amen. The little girl came. Let's pray together our, our prayer to St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. May every blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever and ever. Amen. Go forth proclaiming the gospel by your lives. Thanks be to God. For there is therefore